So in this video, I want to talk about non-targeted chemotherapies. So as I have already discussed in another video, the non-targeted chemotherapies hit fast dividing cell. So they do not necessarily specific target the cancer cell, rather any cell that is fast proliferating, which means any cell that is in cell cycle. So let's just look at the cell cycle. Here we have a cell in G0, and this is a mature cell. This, for example, now plans to divide upon a certain stimulus and enters the cell cycle. First, it's going to be in G1 phase. G1 is our preparation phase for DNA synthesis. So in order to duplicate all the genetic material, we need more cytoplasm, we need proteins, organelles, and this is all prepared during G1. After this preparation phase, the cell enters S phase, and that's where DNA synthesis occurs. After that, in the G2 phase, you need to check for completion of DNA synthesis and also to repair stuff. In G2 phase, the cell also prepares to divide the genetic material equally into two daughter nuclei. After this preparation, the cell enters M phase, and in M phase you have mitosis, and cytokinesis. During mitosis, the duplicated genetic material is divided into two daughter nuclei. And then during cytokinesis, cytoplasm, organelles, and membranes are divided into two daughter nuclei. Then the cell can either just further proliferate or rest during G0 phase. So how can we not target fast proliferating cells? And that's what these non-targeted chemotherapeutic agents do. Well, there are two possibilities. Either we damage one specific phase of the cell cycle, for example, S phase or M phase, or we just make such a severe damage that it doesn't really matter in which phase of the cell cycle the damage occurs. We call the drugs that act in a specific phase of the cell cycle cell cycle specific agents, whereas drugs that act in any phase of the cell cycle are called non-cell cycle specific agents. So we have two classes of drugs that are cell cycle specific agents. One are inhibitors of mitotic spindle function, and they act during M phase. So they specifically damage the cell during mitosis. Another group of drugs are nucleotide and DNA synthesis inhibitors. And as the name already implies, they act particularly in DNA synthesis phase. However, we could also just severely damage the DNA, so just break it apart. Then it would not matter in which phase of the cell cycle the cell is. So no matter if you do not damage within a specific phase of the cell cycle or anywhere during cell cycle, a specific checkpoint will pick up this damage and is going to thrive this cell into apoptosis. That's how the non-targeted chemotherapeutic agents work. This concludes the video on the introduction of non-targeted chemotherapeutic agents.